Hi, welcome back to Family Summer Camp at Home Edition. Day four of Cat in the Hat knows a lot about that week. We hope you had a great time yesterday exploring sound, pitch, and vibrations as a family. We hope you were able to take lots of pictures and videos while you're making your strumalums and drumalums, your flute toots, and your gongs. This is usually a favorite day, so we hope you guys were able to get a lot of photos and make a lot of memories together. Today, we're going to be exploring bridges through our four Spansylvania centers. The Cat's Reading Corner, Thing 1's Sticky Brickies, Thing 2's Catwalk, and Nick and Sally's Digital Media Center. Let's go ahead to the Cat's Reading Corner. Here to there and me to you. Written by Cheryl Keeley, illustrated by Celia Crampion. Bridges do more than connect one place to another. They bring the whole world together. They can be wooden covered or golden gated or in London falling down. Some bridges are movable, going up, up, and up before coming back down. While others are simple stones, placed one, two, three to make a safe crossing. Bridges just for animals help them find new homes, new friends, and plenty of food. And trains can use bridges to clickety-clack along, carrying people to people, family together again. Some bridges join country to country, making a big world seem smaller. Or connect neighborhood to neighborhood, turning strangers into friends. Some bridges are rickety rackety, swinging and swaying their way to a beautiful hidden away places. Bridges can be made by bending backwards and stretching and stretching until all fall down laughing. And rainbows make bridges from sunshine to rain. But the bridges I like the best isn't so grand. It connects me to you and you to me through the simple holding of hands. Now that we've heard the story, let's look deeper into bridges. This picture has the Heartland Bridge in Canada, the world's longest covered bridge. It is about as long as 36 school buses and crosses the St. John River from Heartland to Somerville in New Brunswick. The Golden Gate Bridge in California is the world's most famous suspension bridges. It opened in 1937 and isn't actually golden, but orange. The architect chose the color orange because it's distinct from the colors of the sky and the sea, making it easier for passing ships to see. London Bridge was the first stone arch bridge built in Britain. It crosses the River Thames. It has undergone many renovations over the years and is now made of concrete and steel. London Bridge is also a famous nursery rhyme and a fun game to play. Draw bridges are bridges that open and close. They date to medieval times when knights in armor and dragons fought for their castles. Today, draw bridges open up to let boats and ships pass. Some bridges can be as simple as a few stones placed across a shallow stream. This sometimes is known as a clapper bridge, or they can be complex structures such as South America's Puente de Perda in Lima, Peru, which crosses the Rymic River. It is known as the Bridge of Eggs because the mortar used in building the bridge was mixed with bird eggs to make it stronger. Banff, Nas Banff National Park in Canada has the most wildlife bridges in the world. The crossings allow animals, such as bears, wolves, moose, and lynx, to safely cross roads and highways. The first railway suspension bridge was built over the Niagara River at Niagara Falls between Canada and the United States. 
The bridge was completed in 1855 and carried trains, carriages, and pedestrians for more than 40 years, but it wasn't strong enough to carry the new heavier trains. It was replaced by the Whirlpool Rapids Bridge in 1897. The Three Countries Bridge at the borders of France, Germany, and Switzerland only truly connect France and Germany, but Switzerland is only a hop, skip, and a yodel away. The Brooklyn Bridge crosses New York City's East River to connect Brooklyn to Manhattan. Days before the Brooklyn Bridge opened, P.T. Barnum let 20, led 21 elements over to prove that it was safe. Bridges made of vine and rope are among the earliest types of bridges. They can be scary to cross but because there isn't much to them. The rope can be as skinny as your arm. A rainbow is not really a bridge. It's an arc of colors formed in the sky when the sun shines through drops of water. There are so many different types of bridges. Go ahead, take some time as a family to talk about the different types of bridges you've seen. Once you've explored all the different types of bridges you've seen, draw a bridge of your imagination. When you've done all that, come back for part two. Bye.